The plot below represents the function f of x. So because we know this is the graph of f of x, we also know that the input variable is x. And we always find the inputs of a function along the horizontal axis, or in this case, the x values. And we always find the function outputs, or function values, along the vertical axis. So to determine the value of f of 2, we want to find the output when the input is positive 2. To do this, we locate 2 on the horizontal axis, where the input is 2, which would be here. From here, we go straight up to the graph of the function. And notice how we'd be at this point on the graph. To find the corresponding output, from this point we go straight to the vertical axis, where we find the outputs or function values. Notice how the output is positive 1. This point on the graph would be the point 2 comma 1, which means when the input is 2, the output is 1, and therefore f of 2 equals 1. Next, we want to find the value of f of negative 1. So we want to find the output when the input is negative 1. So now we locate negative 1 on the horizontal axis, which is here. Go straight up to the graph of the function. So we'd be at this point on the graph. To find the corresponding output, we go straight to the vertical axis from here. Notice how the output is positive 2. The coordinates of this point are negative 1, comma 2, which means when the input is negative 1, the output is 2, and therefore f of negative 1 equals 2. Next we have f of 4.5, so we locate 4.5 on the horizontal axis, which would be here. From here we go straight to the graph of the function, so we'd be at this point on the graph. To find the corresponding output, from this point, we go straight to the vertical axis. Notice how the corresponding output is negative 4. The coordinates of this point are 4.5 comma negative 4, which means when the input is 4.5, the output is negative 4, and therefore f of 4.5 equals negative 4. And then finally, we have f of 0, so we want to find the output when the input is 0. So we locate 0 on the horizontal axis, which is here. From here, we go straight to the graph of the function, which brings us to this point on the graph. Notice how this point is also already on the vertical axis, and therefore the corresponding output would be approximately 1 half, or 0 0.5. The coordinates of this point are 0 comma 1 half, or 0 comma 0 0.5 which means when the input is 0, the output is 1 half, and therefore f of 0 equals 1 half. I hope you found this helpful.